Hello, in this video, I'm going to open this package that I received from Johnny Watson Gaming. Okay, let's go. On uh, Scruffy Crow's Discord, I've been talking to Johnny Watson quite a bit now. And we were both talking about our love of War Machine, how we really loved the game when it came out. And uh, he said it had a few things that he didn't want anymore. And uh, he said he'd send me it. I am very surprised by just how much he sent me. Uh, looking at this box, I imagine it's just quite a bit in here. I, I imagine it's it's, it's, uh, it's quite sizable. Anyway, let's open up and see what's inside. So again, go away from yourself. I have uh, obviously covered the address because I don't want to dox myself. So I assure you it is from Johnny Watson. I'm sure he'll leave a, a comment below at some point about it. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got in here? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, I never know about these. Protect of Men of Faction dice. I never knew these existed. I knew they did the uh, Gear Force 9 ones, but I've not seen these before. Qworkshop.com. Oh. oh, they're quite nice. So I can pull them. Quite a nice little dice there. So I'm just going to move the camera there. Just notice it's a bit glaring there. Yeah. So imagine that's obviously you roll this one for the location. I'm guessing. Oh, that's spectacular. And anyway, I won't talk about it too much. But yeah, that's something I've not seen before. That's very nice. Oh, oh, it's perfect the area deviation location. Okay. Anyway, put it to one side for now. What else we got in here? Let's have a look. There is a ton of stuff in here. Oh. The templates. Oh, brilliant. These are really hand. Oh, that's a hefty bag. <laughs> oh, that's the um, deliverers. Sorry, you will probably hear me say oh a lot in, <laughs> in this video. Let's have a look. There's so much in here. I am absolutely staggered by his generosity. How much has he sent me? Let's have a look. So, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, okay. He's just, oh, cheers, Johnny. I <laughs> You've sent me a whole army here. <laughs> oh, deliverers. Oh, that's. Oh, I remember these guys. Yeah. Oh, these tokens are cool. These are good for like um, the little fire counters. I remember. I remember these. I never had them, but um, my old friend um, Rob used to play Men Off back in the day, and uh, yeah, so I'm used to being put on fire in this game system. Oh, that's one of the um, mercenaries. It comes with someone, I do believe. Um, is that a gun mage of some sort? Oh, the deliverers. These are classic models. Absolute classic models. Don't know who that chap is. I can bend that back. It's not a problem. That's the, the benefit of all these metal models. You can just bend them back if need be. Same with that one there. Just bend them back. Let's put these all here. There's so much to go through in here. Oh, it's such a slight. You can really tell the difference in the scale. Anyway... Oh, this is... Fun. Oh, wow. Ah, there she is. Yep, I remember her. She comes with this guy there. That works at Duo. I remember them. It's been quite a while since I've played War Machine, as I say, in a previous video. Oh, that's that's really cool. A little handy little device. So, yeah, I'm happy with all that. In there. What else we got in here? So, obviously paper. Don't want that. There's a lot of things. Oh, it's all... in. Oh, there's a few things that are not individually packed. These are, oh, these are plastic now. When I first started, these were all metal. Um, they're very distinct, iconic sort of men off helmets. A very unique look. Oh, there's some of the shields come off there. Uh, there's a lot of individual packed things. I'm going to get them out. What I might do is, um, anything that's like this, I might open it up and then show what I've been sent from Johnny. This, oh, it keeps coming. <laughs> Oh, there's a war machine. That, I'm going to try and test my knowledge now. I think this may be from the um, the light warjack that has a rocket launcher arm. Um, Redeemer, I think it might be called. Or Reckoner. Or Repenter. Something like that. Let's have a look what's in here. Oh, these guys are chunky. Oh, there's a bit of breakage here, but I imagine it's in the box. I can fix that. It's not a problem. Wow. How do you actually fit in that armor? I mean, yeah, I suppose you could fit in there just about, but that is well, that is that's that's almost Kado levels of armor. Oh, here we got the cards. Lots and lots of cards. This 
to make a good idea of what's in there. I'm not going to look at these because that might spoil what's in there, might spoil the surprise. I don't want to do that. Even though there's a whole load more cards here, I can, I can feel. Yeah, I'm going to put them all to one side because I don't want to <laughs> ruin the surprise. It's like Christmas come early. Oh, there's some more of them. Oh, brilliant. I have a whole unit of them. Fantastic. I'm not sure what these... Oh, they, these guys look different because the other one um, looked like he had obviously some sort of double-handed weapon. This guy looks like he's got sword, uh, sword and shield rather. So, look at that. Yeah, there we are, for example. That's the one of those other guys. They are immense. That was the size of small warjacks. But I suppose that was War Machine's thing. It did big models back in the day. There's so much in here, Johnny. How much have you sent me? <laughs> I knew you said you were sending me a bit of War Machine's. Ah, there we are. That's the one, yep. Oh, yeah, this is one. I, I love this one back in the day. It's doesn't hit much <laughs> so inaccurate but it's got such an impressive range on it and just the idea of it's firing in what is a fantasy steampunk game it's firing sort of rockets at you it's it's quite high tech well that's <laughs> a high tech um by today sounds quite primitive but back in the games it, it's it is devastating and also that's what these guys are doing as well so it's kind of like just just Filled it with like high explosive, like oil basically heats it up and it just fires itself off. So, yeah, some more of these guys, yeah. I'm not sure what color scheme John was going for with them, but I can do some of that, no problem. Yeah, more of them. Some of the things are loose. I think you might have obviously used all his money on the, the wrapping because there's so much, just so much in here. Look at it all. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> wow, it just keeps coming and coming. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and show. So I'll move these out of the way, these individual parts, and um, I'll show you how much is in this wrap, individually wrapped, so you get an idea of how much he has sent me. Oh, when I do meet Johnny, I'm going to have to obviously pay him back for this. This is just so kind. Let's get these out of the way for now. One you over there, and you. So what else we got here? Some some more of these big burly burly good dudes. I'll put them over there. Ah, some more of these ones. Ah, I think that's the unit leader. Um, I can't recall their name. Knight exemplars, I think, or knight errands, or something like that. There's a few individual parts. That, ah, there we are. So that's probably the one that's broken. I can fix that. So that's not going to be a problem. I'm not going to complain, obviously, if this has all been sent to me. There's so much here. Oh, it just keeps... Oh, I think we've reached the end now. Yep, that looks like the end of the box. We have finally reached the end of the box. <laughs> so I'll put the box to one side. Oh, there's two things there. So let's, let's do a quick count of how much individual things have been sent by Johnny. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 individual bags here. Wow, I am absolutely blown away by, I don't know what's in some of these. Um, I'm guessing it's all men off. I think it's going to be all men off stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to start with un unboxing, um, taking these apart. Um, what I might do is I might take some apart um off camera and then come back because i don't think no one wants to watch me cutting well i'll, I'll cut one off it have a look it's got there was quite a hefty one there we are that's got a bit heft to it see what's in this so be careful because don't damage anything let's have a look what's in here then like i say it's like christmas come early um, if you haven't subscribed to Johnny Watson Gaming, please go over to his channel and subscribe to... Oh, is that the... <gasps> yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Do you have to have men off? Oh, man. That is such a classic model. Oh, I remember this thing. And, yeah, this thing... <laughs> wow. Um, in the game, it doesn't have a cortex, so it's quite a powerful warjack. Wow, it's a character wardrobe. Obviously, it just 
and it, the, the heft on it, the weight on this thing, it's it's like the old Games Workshop's Metal Dreadnoughts. You could, <laughs> if that hit, hit someone, it really hurt them. As I was saying, though, if you've not subscribed to Johnny Watson Gaming, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. Please go over there and subscribe to his channel. Uh, at the very least, uh, have a look at his stuff. He does fantastic stuff. Oh, I'm open some more. <laughs> I'm curious now. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Don't recognise this chap. No, nope. sorry. I think there's some because obviously. Oh, that's that's a various. Oh wow! Look at the paint job on that. That is some really nice um, light sourcing paint job paintwork there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it looks like um, some sort of exemplar character. Not sure who that is. When you're the standard. It's a little bit better now I can bend that back, but yeah, that, that's... Oh, ah, the shield for that, from him that I saw earlier. They're really nice. So I wonder if that was the uh, colour scheme I was going for. That's quite close to the, um, the official colour scheme. Might be a bit paler, the um, the white. So I don't know if you can see. I'll bring that a bit closer to the camera. Yeah, they're gorgeous. So let's see what else we got in here. I've got so much bubble wrap at the end of this. <laughs> I'll have to send something back to him. I don't know what I can send him back. I'll, I'll think of something. Ooh. No, again, these are things that I think came out um, during my absence in the game. So I've sort of come back to one machine. So a few things I'm not too familiar with. And those... Those sort of Kado looking um, armoured chaps are one of them. Oh, what's in here? Ah, it's just some bases. I'm going to try and to make a bit of a mess before the bubble wrap. I am still flabbergasted at just how much he sent. I was not expecting half this amount. Oh, oh, yes, look at that. Oh, it's the plastic one. Oh, oh, it's come loose. Oh, I think that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Another range. That's really nice colour scheme again. It's nice. It's, I think it's that. Well, obviously, I'm colour blind, so I think that's either blue or purple. That's a nice difference for the um, men off. Gorgeous model. What was else in there? Ah, the classic Crusader. Yeah, classic Warjack. From back in the day. Absolutely wonderful paint job. The sort of shading on the armor panels here. Oh. I don't know if that's shown up properly. I'll move my camera, sorry, because it might be too much. Um, there we are. Let me just turn it down a bit. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, just so much stuff. Well, I'm um, going to be no shortage of Minoff for <laughs> the foreseeable future. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's the... Um, is it Dervish or Devout? I think it's Devout. Because originally the oh, with the game they um, they brought out every faction had like two chassis for their both the light and the heavy. So this was like the original sort of chassis for the heavy, and then they went towards the more sort of castigator uh, style. And same with the um, the previous like warjack I saw, which was your redeemer, reckoner, repenter, had this sort of chassis, and then they swapped up to this sort of chassis for other things. You can see the, the evolution of the chassis now. They're quite similar. They share a lot of design um, similarities, but they're a little bit different. Anyway, so what else did here? So another big hefty thing. Ah, there we are. That's the 
Oh, that's a classic metal one. And that is, I think... Oh! No, that's a bit different, actually. Oh, this might be the character one. I think they brought out a character war jack for... Um, is it Krios? I think it might have been. I think that's his war jack. Let's put this yes, no, We're not even halfway through all this stuff yet. There's just that much. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just literally... If you were here as well, you'd see how much stuff he sent me. It's, it's Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, classic zealots, yeah. I do like the colour scheme, I'll have to copy that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it's bending back. <laughs> you can tell they're of a different time, and it's single cast model, single part. No individual components to it, so they had to sculpt it as one. <laughs> you got models like that, but a very nice dynamic, and you got ones <laughs> that could do with being a two or three part, part model <laughs> you can see what they're going for oh they're gorgeous i am going to have to try and get these to the game table very soon and a battle report see this one oh oh yes the choir now these chaps are what make men off men off. So it's the sentence of death. It's not very nice, you Johnny. <laughs> yeah, these guys because they're religious nutcases, obviously men off, and their their prayers are what help their warjacks go along. Not just their magic focus, but the they're really nice. I like with some of the bases, but their prayers. Do work and this men off does answer their, their heed and it makes their warjacks very powerful because they're not just they don't just get magical boosted from warcasters and the like they also get prayers put on them that's what those chapters are for let's sit here so I'm worried I'm gonna damage things so I'm gonna cut that again I think Oh, the monolith bearer. That goes with the um, um, zealots. And gives them a bit of more survivability of them currently. Oh, the Piper of Ord. Plays bagpipes, play music, and gets benefits from that. I want to turn this light down again. Sorry, I think it's just a bit too bright. Maybe. Bounce off too much of the models. What have we got? Oh, that, that's Krios. Oh, that's a different weapon of Krios. I think that might be a, um, an epic version of Krios because all the Warcasters they got different uh, iterations of themselves because it had a, an evolving storyline. Ah, Severius. There's the old man Severius. He's actually an old man in the game. Um, that's not me just being cruel to him. Very potent Warcaster, very powerful Warcaster. That's curiosity. Yeah, they they did have like an evolution in the in the game, and the uh, the characters not just their abilities change, but their spells change, and sometimes even their stat lines change. If I remember correctly, you can see the shoulder pads have <laughs> doubled in size. Really stands out as being the epic version. Uh, still the same base size. So, oh, that's the Harbinger. I think it's called the Harbinger or the Redeemer. Um, Another one, the Prime Warcaster, so Severius, sorry, Severius, Harbing, and uh, Krios are the three Prime Warcasters for uh, Minoth. Who is this? Oh, I don't know who this chap is. Doesn't seem to be having a nice time, though. I don't know who that is, but you can really tell how the the, the quality of sculpting from Priority Press came on. I mean, these both look like single-piece models, and you've gone from something like this, where it was limited by what they could do, to something like this, where it's they manage to make it dynamic and still be a one piece model. At least I think that's a one piece model. I'm not looking at, I'm looking at, I can't see any pieces that might be separate. And I think that is a one piece model. Very nice. Uh, oh, what's in there? 
So, ah, that's the monolith, uh, monolith bearer's uh, mace, so I'll have to put that to the side for now. I think we might be at the halfway point, finally. Oh, this is just opened. Ah, uh, that's the Repenter, Redeemer, Reckoner. I can't recall. It's one with a flamethrower and um, just a chain weapon. It was nice that they gave chain weapons an ability because before chain weapons didn't really have a, an ability. Now they uh, got they stop, um, they ignore shields. Sorry, that's it. Which kind of makes sense. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, I'll open. It's going to be a, a longer video than I anticipated because I was not expecting half of this amount, this much stuff. Wow. <laughs> What's in here? Let's find out. Oh, hello. Oh. Um, another big book. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, again, this might have came out long before my time. As I stopped playing for a bit. So, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. But I think, looking at it, I'm guessing it's something like the um, uh, Choir of Menoth, but rather just a big book. Maybe some sort of unit attachment for them. I believe that is, that is really nice. So I'm just going to move the camera a bit, see if the light rather, sorry. Yeah, he's done a fantastic paint job on these models. Yeah, put that over there. Um, so, so we've only got a few left to go. <laughs> We're almost at the end. The end is in, is in sight. I don't know where I'm going to put these models. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Where am I going to put them all? <laughs> Let's have a look. What's in here? Oh, this looks a bit spindly. It's very sp Oh, is this, is this a rack? <gasps> I do remember the racks. Yes, I think it's... Oh, is it three racks? Yeah. Oh, three racks. I mean, it's just goes to show how... Um, <laughs> men off are not nice. The... They will put people on racks, which they then use as a source of magic. They, they draw from them, from their um, suffering. <laughs> oh, they're fantastic models. Again, my friend Rob used to have them, and they were a bane to my um, Kador. I did not like them, because uh, very quickly, uh, a men of war caster can drain... Um, focus from them, but to do that they explode, and it was everything nearby takes damage. So they used to control the board zone. Basically, you had to make sure you don't go near them. So you deploy them because they didn't move, obviously. But you deploy them in areas where you think the opponent might want to go. So they're good at cutting off parts of the battlefield. And if you need the focus, it was there. So they had a, a multi-role purpose. This is all from memories of, uh, again, I looked at like, like a long time, so could we get a few things wrong? Oh, it looks a bit, is that Fiora? No, I don't know who this is. But very slight. They did have a very sort of, um, uh, what's the word now? Not, not dichotomy, but um, the men tend to be big, bulky. The women all tend to be quite slight and nimble. It was very apparent in the model design. Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks... Oh, that's very precarious. Don't want to snap. That is a gorgeous model. Um, so I think this might be a two-piece model. I think that might be an individual component. But looking at these, again, the evolution of the models, how they've managed to come on with their sculpting abilities. And... It's such a shame that Pravity Press now are uh, throwing in the towel with these these old models. They're now going to the whole the new models that I've talked about previously with the three D printing and the, all these this design is being left behind. Well, I actually think Menoff's been abandoned or just been done away with, which is an absolute travesty. I think personally. Well, that's a rant for another video. I'm still just amazed at how much he sent me. Oh, that's more zealots. Oh, that's the um, 
unit leader. I'm a critic of the uh, Zelda. I think he can have pr um, some sort of prayers as well, or chance. Put him over there with the rest of the zealots. I think he's set. I think I've pretty much got everything now from Prime. Now, so I could do a full Prime um, men off army. That's, that's, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh! Oh, I remember. No, she's the Harbinger. Sorry, so I think this might be the Avatar of Men Menoff. This is the Harbinger Menoff. I remember her. She, yeah, not very good in combat, if I remember correctly. Oh, that banner's very flimsy. Oh, that's a very flimsy banner there. I'll be careful. I'll, I'll come back to that and do, I'm not being recorded. Um, Very floaty, as you can see. She's, I think she's kind of been possessed by Menoff, or Menoff is using as, as some sort of vessel. And uh, she in the game, she has the, the highest focus stat. I think it was like 10, which is a phenomenal amount of focus magic points to use. And she, okay, in combat, she, she hits automatically because Menoff guides her because she's literally got a god got divide, um, driving her actions. Very potent warcaster. She came out in escalation, I want to say, or apotheosis. Let's have a look. This one. Oh, oh, no, I remember these. Uh, these are Daughters of the Flame. They're like um, some sort of assassin, very quick, very nimble, very fragile, but very hard to hit, and they death by a thousand cuts sort of thing. From McCrelly. Again, sorry, the, the camera, the light is bouncing off. It's just that they are, they are undercoated white, so. Bit of a glare going on. So you might not be seeing the full detail on these miniatures. So it's it's very hard to um photograph white undercoated models, I think. Let's have a look. Is there anything else in that one? So where am I gonna put all these, Johnny? <laughs> I have no idea. I'll have to get more uh, some more boxes for them. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, some. Oh, oh, um, Order of the Fist, I want to say. Tied into the whole. These religious people have sort of like battle monks, if I remember correctly. And they also have knights with crossbows. And. Um, errants, I think the errants are the ones with the crossbows. If you want to approach him, you want to make sure you've got reach to be able to get to his contact with the guy. <laughs> want to melee with him rather, sorry. Oh. I think that's one I'm going to have to paint first out of this collection. It's such a it's such a departure to what I've got in my own miniature collection. I've got nothing like this, really. So that'd be nice to paint. Uh, I think we've only got what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes left to go. And obviously I could look at the cards, but I think this is more fun. And I'm sure Johnny will be green. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. More zealots. Yeah, there's that three more zealots. So might be a full unit. How many zacks? I mean, you can have max ten, so let's have a look. One, two, um, I think it's also more. Three, four, five, okay, six. This might be some more. I think it might be some zealots looking at this actually again. Yeah, more zealots. Oop. So we're throwing grenades, well, fire bombs rather. Yeah, I can fix that base. Oh, that's really nice. Paintwork there, that's fantastic. We really like them. Let's take this one. So I'm aware of how long the video's been going on for, so I'm trying to get into the bag quickly. 
don't want to damage them what's inside up at the same time. Not sure what this is. Oh, I think it's more um, Deliverers Skyrockets. Yep. I think, oh wait, no. No, not sure what that is. Oh! I think it might be the war machine they had. Um, is it? Yes, it is. Yes. Basically, it fires out a bigger version of what these guys have launching because they brought out sort of war machines well <laughs> i say war machines battle engines or some sort of support weapons for all the um, factions yeah and there's the guy loading them up that's that's really cool oh so i think we have everything here not just from prime but maybe even escalation Maybe even some of um, Apotheosis. What's this? A castigator? I think we'll say cast yeah, that's a castigator. Yeah. That's a hefty, hefty bit of metal. Oh, it's such a nostalgia trip seeing the old metal models. Because I've got some of the plastic. I bought the uh, Star Collecting Box on Minoth recently, and it comes with the plastic ones. So I've seen. These in metal, as they were originally intended to be, is something else. I just want to see, as I was saying about the the two chassis. So you had this sort of chassis originally for men off, and then they brought this one out. Um, again, you can kind of see how they are like walking churches. They've got very um, cues from religious buildings sort of tied into them. Um, this one, recently, this chassis. It has like a uh, ash cloud around it because it's so much fire's being produced. It just bellows out all the ash and correctly and obscures the model. That's really nice. So we are now near the end. <laughs> You'll be glad to know if you're watching this. What else is in here? Oh, is this more of the um, choir of men off here? So you have six models in choir, so you have your basically your grunts and you have your leader. I can bend that back, that's fine. There we are. What's that say? Repent. Men off. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> so you've got to do voices like that when you're playing with of men off because you are playing as religious nut jobs. Yeah, uh, where's the other one? So yeah, I think they were unit of five. From a correctly with them because you had the leader and uh, four grunts. I think it comes with three basic. Oh wait, no, it might actually be. Um, yeah, so it's a unit of six. I think you start off with three, and then you can buy an additional three. And obviously, the new um, war machine, it's going to split. You can't have more than three three size units. So it's going to be th that'd be two two units because they've got rid of the whole leader grunts. It's just now grunts basically, which is something that I'm not that fond of i like my units of six okay so we are on the two last two this one's heavier so this is some metal so i'll do this one last i'll do this one first well the penultimate package Let's see what's inside here then oh yes <laughs> oh these are gorgeous these are Wait, I think I might have left. <laughs> this has got a lot of competition to look up to now. <laughs> these are... I didn't... Oh! These are different ones I'm thinking of. That one's got a crossbow. I've got a shield. There'll be a shield somewhere. Oh, there we are. Shield flying around there. Well. These, I think these are the original... No! These are the ones from... Um, Escalation thing because you have crossbows as well as swords and shields. So, um, these are the errands, these are the knight errands. Is there another shield in there to the steel shield? Uh, no, so yeah, they've got the full kitty caboodle crossbow, swords, and shield out there, ready to rock. That's a metal one, so there should be crossbow on the mall somewhere, I imagine. 
if it's one thing it is I'm thinking of. I can check the cards to see what's what later on. So I'm just moving there. They're really nice and really nice rich colour scheme on these models. Do I just sort of zoom in? So for the poor lighting today. They're very nice. And then this last one, so something hefty in here. So much bubble wrap. Well, given that it's Christmas soon, I can probably reuse the bubble wrap. Oh, it's a map. Okay, I'm going to try and guess what this is. Um, looking at that part there, I can see that's part of the, the Cascator chassis, Heavy Warjack. Um, Vanquisher, I think was the other one I did. If I remember correctly, it's got um, like a belch cannon, some sort of flamethrower, and a huge, and I mean absolutely colossally sized sort of ceremonial mace thing. I think you actually had reach in the game, which means that you can attack from two inches. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, Vanquisher. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. I mean... Let's just put a person next to it. That's someone who stood up properly. <laughs> it's bigger than a person. It's taller than a person. Just the, just the, the half part. If you take it from the whole bottom, it's almost two people tall. Two persons tall, rather, sorry. Yeah, this is a... Oh, this is a beast of a warjack. Uh, pretty sure it's a vanquisher. But again, metal. Solid. You could... If that fell on someone from the shelf, that would really hurt someone. Yeah, wow, that is, oh, just, just look at all this stuff. I'm just going to move the camera around a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I am absolutely flabbergasted. I just, I'm lost for words, I really am. The level of generosity there, Johnny, that, that is, yeah, thank you very much. Um, When I'm over in the UK next, I uh, think I've talked to you about doing the um, Oathmark tournament. If you're there, I'll... I'll have to pay back for this because this is oh wow, thank you again. <laughs> Where am I going to put it all? <laughs> anyway, um, I think I've gone for a bit long now. So yeah, like I say I'll put a link to Johnny Watson's game in YouTube. Uh, please check him out. Um, watch his videos if you like it. Subscribe. He does fantastic videos. An underrated um content creator for this hobby. Um, yeah, um, please. Go check his out, check out his stuff. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, this is just a bit of a ramble unboxing. Uh, leave a comment below, and as always, I'll catch you later. Bye.